remembers a time back in 2011 when the world was a simpler, easier, more fun place to be. In a small bakery in northern New Jersey, two friends got together every week determined to teach the world how to bake. The boss and the producer! And YouTube was never the same. <laughs> It sunk like the Titanic yeah. in here. <laughs> hey, Grandma and producer. Grandma, everybody. Whether it was making the number one recipe on YouTube for buttercream, or icing fudge brownies, or teaching the world how to make eclairs, I was literally always working. Wait, that doesn't sound right. So here we are in 2020, and well, YouTube, it's time to get ready. Hold on to your crumb buns, because guess what's coming back? Hey. Better, bigger, and so much more exciting. Wait, one more thing. Don't forget to check us out on our other channels at Funhouse TV and Gretchen's Vegan Bakery. So uh, right now, everybody, you're looking at a couple of uh, cupcakes and uh, some flower pots, sort of. And uh, again, welcome to the number one YouTube baking channel, pastry channel. Uh, and what is it? Crumboss! Hey, look who it is, everybody. Hey, everybody, Crumboss here. This is our first episode of this week. And as we promised to all our Facebook fans, we have a special guest with us today. Do we? We do, is and it's not Mr. New Jersey. Who is it? It's Mr. Universe. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Universe? Let's welcome him. Oh, oh, there he is. Who's Mr. Universe? Mr. Here. Bob Hunter. This Hi, everybody. This is Steph the Producer's dad. This is Steph That's the Producer. This is my dad, Bob Hunter. <laughs> He's but, making a guest appearance on Crumb Boss TV because yeah, we're making... Yeah. Oh, That's right. Yeah, exactly, because we're making... the Well, the Crumb Boss is going to be making garden cupcakes and Bob Hunter is a landscape designer. Here you go. That's right. So That's we have called in the experts right. to help me design these cupcakes. Now, right. let me just uh, brief you guys quickly. Um, we screwed move it up. over there. Well, we screwed up. All right, now Dad, move over here. <laughs> All right, there you go. We, um, I asked Steph to help me uh, with this one task. I said, Steph, I'm having a hard time finding the terracotta pots yes. to display my cupcakes. Please go to the store, get the smallest ones you can find. Yes. And she said, okay, no problem, I got it. She arrives at the bakery today, yes. and this is what she brought to me. Exactly. Now, I just want to explain to you guys, if you have been on Pinterest, which is where we find all of our fabulous baking ideas, yes. you will find on my page the cupcake idea where you put your cupcake into the terracotta pot. Yes. Um, the Do you same. love cupcakes, Bob Hunter? I love cupcakes. You love cupcakes? I love strawberry cupcakes, chocolate cupcakes, vanilla yeah. cupcakes. <laughs> oh, I wow. love cupcakes. Yes. But you also love crumb buns, right? I love crumb yeah, buns. Yeah, check out one of our original episodes from yes. a year and a half ago yeah. when Mr. Bob Hunter yes. made his first appearance on Crumb Boss TV. Right. It had it only has a couple thousand hits. It's got low so, ratings. Come on, folks. Call in, will yeah. you? Come in, call now. Yeah, call now. There you go. All right, so let's go back to the All terracotta right, so pots. back to the terracotta pots, guys. We messed up. This is obviously not what you want to do to display your cupcakes. You want yeah. to get the same size diameter pot yes. as your cupcakes so that it is flush to the top and it basically looks like a potted a potted plant, a potted plant. right? A potted right. plant. With right. the chocolate cupcake being the dirt. Yes. So anyway, we're going to wing it like we wing everything here on Crumb Boss TV. We wing it. And I'm going to just show you how I went ahead and did <coughs> What did you do? Wing it. Wing it. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So, uh, what kind of herbs did you make down here? What does it look like to you, Bob? Yeah. Well, historically, years ago in our country, when the settlers first came, yes, they had to grow their own food. Yes. And one of the biggest things they had was an herb garden. H e r b, herb garden. 
Yes. And all kinds of uh, items like basil and sage and things yes. for their salads. Uh, actually, a lot of it was for medicinal purposes. Mm -hmm. And herb gardens, everyone had one in his backyard. Yes. And took care of it. Yes. And in fact, if you go to George Washington, you look upset. Home, Are you happy? I'm thrilled. I, I have an herb garden. Uh, you have an herb garden. Go yeah. ahead. I have an yeah. herb garden or an herb garden. All right. An herb garden. Yes. And it's and at George Washington's place in Mount Vernon, Virginia. Yeah. It's a magnificent herb garden there. Yes. It's and still there. So does it look yeah, like this? Yeah, all, all these little <laughs> designs. It's very similar. Yes, George would have liked this. Yes, you what think so? What are we so? growing here? Well, uh, this looks like, uh, this we call this sage. Okay. S-A-G-E. And this we call basil, which okay. a lot of people love to put in their salads. What do you think okay. that is? Okay, getting quiet. Uh, yeah, grass? This, this one. Grass? This This one is, uh, yeah, this one's a little bit of a mystery, but I'm sure it'll taste good. <laughs> it's grass. At Woodland Bakery, we oh, love grass. That's a way to go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh -oh. <laughs> In that oh ear? God. Yeah, it's a no, no. joke, Gretchen. It's a joke. Yeah. All right, so but go ahead. Herb gardens yeah. were, were well known, and today a lot of people, like in the city, yeah. put them on their patios yeah. or put them in a container. Yeah. They're I easy like to handle. I, I They're really nice. Herbs once. Yeah. I love herb gardens. <laughs> Sometimes they call me Mr. Herb. I said, my name's Bob, not Herb. Okay. Anyway. All right, so let's go back here. So, Crumbos, what are you doing? All right, I'm going to show you what I did. If you guys go to Pinterest and go on my board, you'll see the original where I got this idea. Okay. But, of course, I can't just do it that way. I always have to adapt to it. Okay. Because what I saw mm. was that, basically, they just took the cupcake, yes. no icing, and they sort of, like, just roughed it up a little bit to make it look like... You know, when you, what do you call soil. that? When you're Turn the turning soil. the soil, yeah, okay? So they made it like this. And I thought to myself, well, that's a cute idea, but who wants to eat a cupcake with no icing on? Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I did a little variation on that. Okay. I put some fudge icing here. Fudge. Do you like fudge, Bob? I love fudge. Our I love fudge. Hot fudge sundaes, <laughs> hot fudge cupcakes. Or yes, whatever. exactly. All right, I did that. And then what I did was took my extra uh, cake from when we trim our cakes or if you've got extra from your cake yes, pops correct. and I crumbled it up okay. to make it look like dirt. Uh, I oh, think that's a little that. bit more delightful yes. to eat than just a plain old oh cupcake God. with no icing, right? Exactly. Excellent. Mother would you Earth. like would look you like that. to have that? I would. That it looks very nice. Well you gotta wait. Yeah, okay, I will wait. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Crumble. Right, so I did that because who wants a cupcake with no icing? Not yes. me. So we added that variation to it. And then I went ahead. Yeah. What did we do just a couple weeks ago? Stand closer to Gretchen. We did uh, yeah. grapevine. Grapevine. The grapevine oh, grapevine cupcakes. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, commissioned my pineapple cutter again. Listen, guys, I need a little tiny leaf cutter. If anybody's got one, send it my way. Okay. Because right now I'm using the pineapple for my little oh, leaf cutout design, right? That. Yeah, I don't need the whole pineapple. So what I did was I just took the top of it. Oh, so that's cool. See that? Just to get the idea of a little leaf. Isn't that right. cool? Isn't that Here's nice? my leaf veiner uh -huh. that you then press into there oh okay. to That's get beautiful. the design. Oh, wow. oh excellent. All Looks right. like a fossil you Yeah, out of the exactly. Ground. And then oh we just, because these are just seedlings. Yeah. We're just going to place seedlings. it on right. there. Yep. And then I took another little piece. And that's piece. fondant. Yes, we do everything here with fondant, mm -hmm. which okay. is basically fondant. like um, Play-Doh, edible Play-Doh. Okay. Yeah. Right? yeah. Did you ever have any fondant, Bob? Uh, I think I had some once at a party. Yes, we had fondant party. <laughs> <laughs> that was fondue. Oh, oh, fondue, I'm sorry. That was a fondue party. I had party. the wrong country, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Era. I got yeah. off the wrong bus stop. You got off the wrong bus today. We let yeah, you, you got lost coming here today. Maybe I, I went through the woods. I yeah, you I went through the woods to get to woods. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the other design I did, I took a teardrop cutter. Okay. And I just pressed that out. All right, good. And then you put that again. You yeah, did, you, and I formed that to make it look like a little tiny leaf, right? Okay. Oh. And then just popped it in there. Beautiful. Oh, that's cute. So these are seedling little yes. garden pot cupcakes. Right. Yes. Right. With yes. our expert, Bob yes. Hunter, yes. the landscape right. designer, yes. the gardener, and our shopping expert, Steph, who yes. bought the terracotta pots right. for us. Yeah, I bought the wrong pot, so again, right. I messed up. I had one right. job today. So this is, this is it, garden cupcakes made by the Crumbos. Yes. You can, uh, you know, put make sure you put here. them with fudge, make sure you put them with different stuff. Right. Now, Bob, what was right. it like being on the show today? 
I loved it. I'm very impressed with these cupcakes. Most cupcakes, you know, are uh, most a lot of them all different colors and so on. But yes. I would call these herb cupcakes. Herb. They have a message. And yeah. for people to learn about gardening and these herbs, these shapes of certain herbs that you can grow in your garden or on your patio in a container. Yes. It's excellent. It's a great idea. Oh, yes. Have a, have a go at it, folks. I, I What's that? Oh, oh little ladybug. Oh, yes. A friendly part of nature. <laughs> a friendly part of nature. Ladybugs lady are good luck. Yes. Uh, there you go. Okay. So when I'm will you be back again? As soon as they need me. I mean, whatever the I, whatever you want. I mean, yeah. I work in the great outdoors, and there's a lot out there, and we can yeah. combine ideas for. Maybe we'll go on location. Sure, yeah, we'll walk up to a tree, pick, pull off a piece of bark, and chew that, it. That's right. That'll, That'll be our, our, our new cake pop sticks. And new cake pop sticks. I always say to pull yeah, the bark off. Okay. Right, off. All right. Say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.